Good evening. Tonight we present a special report on how to evaluate a Web 2.0 tool. Choosing a Web 2.0 tool or resource can be fun, but also challenging. There are important considerations that need to be made when the goal is student learning. It is well established that students can be motivated and more engaged when using information and communication technologies, but they must also learn new concepts and content for the technology to provide meaningful learning. Jonathan describes such tools as mind tools. Our first criteria is that meaningful learning must take place. A Web 2.0 tool must engage students in active, intentional, and authentic creativity tasks, it must engage them in a way that causes them to think. Our second criteria is that students can use the tool easily enough that they are not put off by confusing instructions, long waiting times, and tasks that are too complex. Using the tool should not become the focus of the learning task. Our third criteria asks if the Web 2.0 tool will work for different subject areas and contexts. Is it generalizable to be useful in different applications? A fourth criteria is user control. Finger, Jameson Proctor, and Russell refer to Type 2 applications as putting control in the hands of the student rather than the software developer. This speaks to the creativity allowed to the student. A fifth criteria is about product. Does the Web 2.0 tool provide the student a finished product, such as a piece of text, a video? or a multimedia presentation that represents they are learning. Will the student have something to show for their efforts and does it provide an opportunity to assess learning? Lastly, our sixth criteria, it is important to choose a web tool or resource that puts learning ahead of commercial interest. Students should not be exposed to advertising or information that is not appropriate in a school setting. A website should be thoroughly investigated before it is made available to young students, I hope you have enjoyed our program, please join us again. This is Ray Van Giel signing off for the night, goodbye. Tonight's program was brought to you by ExtraNormal.com.